based on something on here. The discount is 33 cents. Mm-hmm. So we can do that based on the count. But if we, we, can, we can either block that in for the year, right, Mark? With the contract. Then, right. But then the contract, we get the 33 cents per gallon discount if we go that year. So we're looking at 280 to, to break even with the 247. Mm-hmm. We're walking to 47. If, if some period of time here, the next couple of months, we're going to be going in the hole for sure. It's not going to go down that fast. So. They go off of our spec, though, as far as we were saying the, we were going to do it for a year. The contract gallons have to be used before the, the, the open market gallons. So, okay. Oh, okay. In other words, you can't say, well, the street department's going to pay the floating fuel and the police department's going to get the fixed price. And you can't. I, well, I guess you could. When I asked the question earlier, I thought we just had to use that money, that those those gallons. Up. I believe, I know that's the way it is when I contract LP. 
or when I buy gasoline. I cannot contract for so many gallons of LP on my farm and say, oh, well, the market's down. I'll buy on the spot market first, and I'll use this later on the drying season. They make me use the contract quantity first. Now, I don't know if you specify that you don't want to do that. I don't have a clue. That's something I can ask. That's the entire top portion is delivered fuel. Are you looking to buy delivered fuel? Also. Last year, our delivered price and our pump price were the same. In other words, if Brian went to the pump, if his guys went to the pump, his gas cost him $1.62. If I had it delivered or Jeff had it delivered, it was still a dollar sixty-two. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, it's the only thing that you have there that really isn't very mobile is your equipment, your uh, back things like that. So you do need a tank there. Actually, we use the road diesel on all of so we don't have the capability to store both types. Right, we're using the undyed fuel, in this case, 14 cents more, but we don't burn that much fuel in the, in the back of it. To justify the cost of the tank. I don't see it coming down a lot, or whether it's going to go through the roof. That could, you know, you could have an international that's going to make it happen tomorrow. Um, I, I, I kind of like that idea of locking it down because you know, you're still buying below retail considerably. And uh, you do have that lockdown for budgeting, it makes it a lot nicer. How many gallons of months do you use? We locked in 30,000 gallons of gasoline. I believe it was 12 or 14,000 gallons of diesel fuel for 2009. So 3,500 gallon a month average for the two products together. 1,000 gallon of diesel fuel, 2,500 gallon of gas monthly. I, I agree. I, I really don't need to go down. I, although I don't see it going up. I, I can't either. The picture for the economy are pretty much still going to lose your unemployment always. Yeah. So. But if you go by those thoughts, you go to the That's like Herb said, international incident, you know, which is the price of the bill is going to go by. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess if you feel it's going to remain constant, then the way you got it would be the two point. What's been between what, 259 and 